the Chicago Federation of Labor is joining those opposing the return of the popular Clark Street outdoor dining program. However, restaurants on Clark say doing away with the summer setup would be a blow to their business. Our Angelica Sanchez has the details. Those in opposition say that there's a concern for safety and traffic flow. We spoke with one restaurant who says a lot has already been invested in summer outdoor dining. With the changing of the seasons comes a desire for dining al fresco. It's three blocks. It's the, these three blocks here. Clark Street's outdoor dining setup has become a magnet for crowds looking to get a taste of River North. It's great for the restaurant. It doubles the size of the restaurant. In the summertime, people love to set outside. It actually gives us a direct sunlight seating. We open up and it makes the whole restaurant the patio. It's, it's really good for business. Through the approval of city permits, restaurants on Clark take over the neighborhood and operate both indoors and outdoors. The neighborhood just comes together. Courtney Pierce is the executive sous chef for the Smith restaurant. He tells us outdoor dining in this capacity saved the restaurant during the pandemic. He says a lot has been invested on it continuing. We purchased tables last year to, to accommodate for the space and we need a couple more years before we get the ROI on that. But there's growing opposition to not bring this setup back in 2024. The Chicago Federation of Labor says there's concern over safety and traffic flow. In a statement, CFL's president says the CFL was a small part of a larger coalition of resident and commerce advocacy groups, including several neighborhood associations as well as the Illinois Hotel and Lodging Association and the Magnificent Mile Association. We echo the concerns of these groups about how the closure affects the safety and accessibility of the Clark Street corridor for its businesses, residents, and workers. From my time here, the traffic, when it's closed, the traffic hasn't been affected. Like, you have all these other streets that go around. Uh, this is a one-way street anyway, so you have the two-way street there. LaSalle's a two-way street. It's really a minor inconvenience. Chef Pierce says they will begin the permit application process soon. He hopes the city gives him the okay. It's good for tax revenue. It's good for the, the industry. It's good for the, all the businesses here because it, it brings the locals down here. The city's Department of Transportation are the ones that approve permits. They do tell me they have yet to receive permits from restaurants on Clark Street. They do say that they take input from other departments, including the Ward Alderman, before signing off. Reporting in River North, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.